right? Quote that in almost constant unemployment. Too big to go down. Top 10 things I never want to hear in a public bathroom. And then ask her as friends. We can all hang out together. But Miss Jen says that's a life in the arts. Like the good old days. Oh my god. Oh, oh wait, I messed it up. Sorry. <laughs> I am done with boys. Mimi. Must tell your word. And I get it for my mammy bomb, man. Bust down. These house can't scare me. Must tell your word. You need help. No. You know what I need? Dad. I'm concerned. It smells like my bedroom in here. The last thing I'm gonna do is ask Nini to homecoming on the day of the day. But she's single and ready to mingle. <laughs> as far as I know, that's how homecoming works. Yeah, and I had to hear it from Ashlyn, who heard it from Seb. You need to, like, take a shower. Rejoin civilization. I don't exactly see you putting yourself out there post-breakup. What are you doing? I'm flushing my homecoming dress down the toilet. <laughs> they have half your talent and twice your confidence. I am totally confident. Aren't I? What? Why aren't you at work? I'm taking a mental health day. This is your fifth one in a row. That, that's like a mental health week. He'll show up. Maybe he just hit traffic. We live in Salt Lake City. There hasn't been traffic since the 2002 Winter Olympics. Found it. Wait, when did you become Nene? Good lord. There's a last minute cast change. <laughs> 10 more minutes and I'll get up. <laughs> um, pardon me, you're not Karen, are you? Who's asking? Oh, I miss my bestie. Mm, so it's like an anti-homecoming homecoming? -homecoming? <laughs> I'm down. Hi, sister. I'm in. So Jesus, tonight we are going to sit back and listen to some of Utah's worst vocalists. <laughs> Could you get me some punch, babe? Sure, babe. Boy. Hey, babe. Babe. You know I would never miss risotto night. Yeah. There was an incident. Yeah. Maybe he was just in a farming accident. Not helping. Actually, there is no Karen. I made her up just to talk to you. Hold on. I can't decide if I'm offended or flattered. You owe her an apology. She showed up to the dance with my ex's ex. And she's wearing the exact outfit I chose for Gabriella that she said would make you look like a telekin. Can we just get out of here? Now? Dude, we're at homecoming. You should be finding eligible honeys for me to dance with. You can do better than EJ. That, that guy's bad news. You're not exactly one to give relationship advice. Sorry, I've been falling asleep to Dr. Phil lately. What is wrong with you, EJ? I'm just intimidated by how fly Big Red looks in that Suki bard from Ricky. Don't be intimidated. Be inspired. Big Red is an underrated style legend. Dude, you're an idiot. You do not want to clap at me right now. I will clap back. What can I get you? Something wet? Now from the top, make it drop. I was actually gonna apologize. Okay, go ahead. Oh, that was actually it? The apology? Nay, nay! It's pronounced nay, nay! Uh, <laughs> no, it, it, it's pronounced No way! Drama, two o'clock. You just go with me on this, okay? No, I don't just go with things. You need to fill me in now. Nice sweater. Must tell your word. And I get it for my mammy bomb. She grew up. Nuh-uh. She met Ricky. No, that is not true. Mm, no. Uh, I... Uh, no. Uh, uh, I feel a little bit true. Uh, okay. <laughs> We lost one of our cows. You could have texted. We have bad reception at the barn. I'm really sorry about being so late. 
I'm really sorry about your cow. <laughs> Miss Jen, did you meet someone in the bowling alley? You did! Ta da. Let me guess, you pictured a wrought iron gate and a bunch of gargoyles? <laughs> Kinda. Uh, you're not that scary. On Valentine's Day. 